how I did uh, the cave level with the dragon. So first of all, I wanna uh, go through the. You will see the the map. So you see inside, I placed all these branches, which I created before, with all the vegetation, and these are the uh, the branches you see inside the the, um, the cave map. Then I added around all these uh, uh, walls, this one, which are all um, flat uh, rock, and I made like a sort of uh, box here, you see, one, two, three and four. So this is kind of box to have the, the cave uh, dimension, like uh, is, is a room, a, 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 a big box. I added some rocks here to make it more uh, variable and then um, a landscape with the vegetation here, this one, with the vegetation, this landscape here, and um, finally you see landscape here. and uh, with uh, these uh, materials here and then uh, finally i created i created um, um, added also these uh, quicksell mega scan uh, stones and finally i created these catapults here these blueprints that will throw these fireballs here to the flying dragon when they detect the dragon so there are all these boxes that when the the dragon or any kind of player will go through uh, the the catapult the spline uh, making the 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 rock branch like this i basically created uh, this spline here and uh, each of these spline is uh, um, very common to a, a normal spline but the difference is that i add the diameter of each spline point to make it more uh, um, uh, dynamic let's say so for example i have all these uh, uh, spline points here i can move to create uh, a branch and then i can set for example uh, the diameter of this point the diameter of this point uh, and so on to make it more uh, more uh, dynamic for example um, i can move the the splines uh, uh, make it uh, a, a more realistic shape and uh, with all these uh, these um, uh, splines, when I created all these, I set one here, one here, like this as branches. I um, put this uh, mesh here. I created from the Quixel Mega Scan. So, for example, I show you. I get this spline here, and I add this mesh and uh, the same I do for all the others so if I add all the same mesh you see the, the shape of the, um, the branches the rock branches and then I basically uh, went merge and I, and I merge all these splines once you merge you have this this is a static mesh so uh, the good thing is that the collision is uh, still um, is still perfect when you merge the um, these splines because it's based on the collision of this branch here so um, the collision is still good as you see and uh, you have this object then after this I went into the landscape in the sorry into the foliage part and I added some vegetation on this uh, on this merged uh, mesh uh, the main thing is to uh, maintain is to maintain this mesh as a static mesh in order to add vegetation otherwise if it's movable you cannot add vegetation uh, this is um, how I created this mesh here. I also added the ultra dynamic sky material to the rocks. So if I want to 
um, change the weather here for example I want a raining uh, uh, scenario let me click here you see now the, the rock is all wet if I want uh, um, a snow scenario for example snow you see the rocks are all covered with snow and also and also the player has the same on on his clothes okay <laughs> now it has you see on his clothes so it's uh, it's the same effect so as i said there is this catapult here with two soldiers that would they will throw this fireball here and i show you this is the catapult one is destroyed and i show you how it works now i am um, so the catapult will rotate versus me always and based on where I where I move it will adjust the angle of the fireball and the um, the strength of the of the the fire if I go far here let's see here it should start to detect, yes. And if I go closer, you see now it's far. And if I go closer, it should start launching closer uh, fireballs. It's uh, random, so it's, uh, it's changing every time. just to show you the uh, blueprint here it's based on all these boxes when you overlap these boxes basically i change the the um, angle there is an angle minimum angle and maximum angle to throw and for each box uh, 30 degrees there is uh, 25 degrees um, 30 degrees here, 60 degrees and also the uh, speed of the fireball, the initial speed so uh, based on these mm, numbers I throw the fireball in various uh, direction and speed um, the dragon map, so this dragon here has uh, many uh, morphs effect so I want to show you the um, the dragon mesh here there are all the cameras of the dragon the dragon mesh this one so it has uh, uh, many uh, morphs uh, in order to change the uh, body of the dragon you can change for example the neck you see the neck here uh, you can change the chest the chest of the dragon like this um, the head can be changed the, the, um, all the parts of the head the horns like this and and everything else so also the, the wings for example this part of the wings here also the wings this here thin for example let's get this wings thin bones to one to make the bones um, thinner so uh, this uh, this thing is just changing the mesh but if i save it will not change uh, the mesh inside the blueprint to change the mesh inside the blueprint i did uh, a, um, a custom action which is uh, this so basically I made this uh, dragon morph um, the name of the morph which is this name here and uh, the value which is this number here so um, I, I created two arrays and then I uh, apply these on the mesh and this uh, 
action here, this custom action here, I called in the construction script. So you can see in real time what happens. So basically, um, if you go here, you see in you see here on the on the editor i have the morph name and the morph value so i set the the name of the this one this morph uh, the wing and the value to make thin is one with zero with min, minus one is very thick with one is uh, very thin so let's see in here wing thin bones so i set one is very thick and now i can play uh, with the dragon perhaps one thing is better to do is this in the um, begin play in the begin play i can just add the morph here so it should work now okay so now it's working and i set minus one to make it tick and it's working okay so the construction script and also to the begin play for example let's do another one so i add here uh, other two um, elements of the array and i want to change for example the the head i want um, or the horns i want the horns down like this so i get this uh, copy name and uh, here this one and the horns is one so in the uh, here in the level i just set one and you see the horns now are down so we're up now and now is so i set one and when i play i have the the horns <laughs> I can I can change the the dragon uh, um, wings and, and and everything in the body.